the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam knew the languages of all animals ya rasul allah animals would also present their complaints in the court of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam like humans ya rahmat After the conquest of Khaybar a donkey conversed with the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam like this from the lineage of my father and forefathers allah almighty has created 60 such donkeys on which only prophets have ridden in my lineage none is left except me and no prophet is supposed to come after you So I want you sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam to ride on me then the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam rode ya on it During a military excursion the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said to all the holy companions if any of you has curry he should bring it all of us will eat it together all the companions humbly said Nobody has curry. In the meantime, a honey bee came close to the ears of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and began humming. So the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said, "The bee says that they have a lot of honey, but they cannot carry it." You sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam should send someone with me then the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam sent a companion who fetched the honey a villager came with an uncooked fish in the court of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and said i have been cooking this fish for 3 days but fire is not affecting it After hearing this the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam smiled and signaled the fish so it began to speak this hunter caught me and was going towards his home as well as reciting salawat upon you sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam i also started to recite salawat upon you by virtue of the same deed fire is not affecting my body now A villager said to the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam I will not embrace faith until this Komodo dragon of mine testifies that you are a true prophet so when he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam called the Komodo dragon it uttered labbaika wa sa'daik so loudly that all the people who were present there heard it then he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam asked Who is the one whom you worship the komodo dragon replied the one whom i worship is he whose arsh is in the heaven whose kingship is on the earth whose mercy is in paradise and whose torment is in hell Then he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam asked O komodo dragon tell us who i am the komodo dragon replied loudly You are the prophet of the Lord of all worlds and the seal of the prophets. After observing this, the villager immediately uttered shahada and embraced Islam. The holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was going somewhere when he passed by such a camel which was being used to irrigate a field. When the camel saw the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam it started wailing and lowered his neck before the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam stood by it and said where is this camel's owner when the owner came he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said the camel has complained that you make it work more and feed it less he further said treat it well the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was in a desert when someone called out to him o prophet of allah almighty when he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam looked around he saw a female deer trapped by a hunter 
He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam asked the deer, What do you want? She humbly replied, On this mountain there are two fawns of mine. You sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam should release me so that I would feed them and return to you. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said, Will you do the same? The deer replied, Yes, of course. So he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam freed her. She left, fed her fawns and returned. He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam tied her again. The hunter was quite astonished to see this and on the instruction of the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, he freed her. While leaving, the deer was uttering, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa annaka rasulullah. Companion radiallahu anhu says, We were on a journey with the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He was separated from us because of some reason when we saw a sparrow which had two chicks. We caught them. The sparrow came and began to flutter. When the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam came back, he said, Who has heard it in the matter of its chicks? Return its chicks to it.